downtown today, one lucky person is gonna get a job. We're gonna pay the guy to shave my head. So, uh, let's do this. Wow is gonna shave his head bald on top of this chair. He's gonna be sitting on it, and then we're gonna have a homeless guy standing right on top, and he's gonna go ahead and take over. Tell us something about yourself, huh? What do you wanna know? Tell us what you've been doing for the past 20 years. Uh, more work than I care to do. Okay. More, not enough traveling. Are you sure about this? I'm mad. I don't Good. know, bro. There you go. Right, <laughs> what cities did you visit? Um, San Francisco, Atlanta. It's nothing, DC. nothing less than pure idiocy. Boston. Oh, Boston. That's where uh, I'm from, boss. Montana. Or Whitefish, Montana. Okay. Um, just got back from Miami. <laughs> just come. Well, did you go to the Ultra Fest? Uh, I didn't get to go to Ultra, but I was down there for the Winter Music Conference. Okay. A couple of friends and I went down to dance and have a good time. So, you know, it is what it is. So, what do you do for a living? Uh, I make jewelry. I'm learning how to play the drums. Uh, starting to spin toy. Uh -huh. And apparently I shave people's heads for money. <laughs> I see. Shaves people's heads for money. That's awesome. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, man, so uh, is this the first time you shave someone's head or? Oh, no, no. Um, my roommate in college made the mistake of asking me to give him a mohawk four shots in. So his mohawk wasn't really straight, uh -huh. but it worked. Huh. And uh, up until recently, I'd get bored, I'd grow my hair down to about chin length. I'd get really bored, cool I'd shave my head, and I'd do it all over again, so. Okay. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. You travel outside the US? Um, when I get the opportunity, which is, let's face it, rare. Very rare. It's expensive. But I uh, spent a little bit of time in Spain this year. Hey guys, it's early. That and your thing is about to die. Why? What happened? What happened? This is private property. And you're from private. This is public property, isn't it? Private property. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll move. Yeah, oh, we'll yeah. move. You Can we borrow move? a broom? <laughs> like, we don't want to leave it, like... Yeah, there's hair everywhere, man. Let's get a broom, let's clean it up, and then we're gonna go part two somewhere else. Yeah, that'd be... That'd yeah, if you could just... Yeah, dude. If you I mean, want we to could... sweep it up, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah but look at his... Look at this guy. Turn so around, let me see it. Turn around. Look at that. Show me your head. Look at that way. <laughs> Running out of juice. Is it good? <laughs> Running out of juice. Yeah. There's no more? Bro, we got entertainers, man. Come on. But We're entertaining people right now. That's all we do, baby. <laughs> well, we got to bounce, though. I, I don't want to. <laughs> we find a broom. We'll, we'll clean it up real quick. Oh, where's my, where's my man? <laughs> we good? Yeah. Right. We bring that back as well. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and charge this. We're gonna go round two somewhere else. Your idea of life is what? Waking and got waking up in the morning. Okay. And my idea of being scared is where I wake up at. Yeah, heaven or hell. They would rather us as homeless individuals sit there with a sign being like, hey man, can I help you out? Than try to have like a craft or contribute, quote, contribute to society. I collect aluminum cans. Be in your own world. That's my theory. Well, what do you find all Being in your own world works to a certain point, but humans you are by nature social creatures. So it's about us coming together and building on communities. The aluminum cans take 65 cents a pound. It only wow. takes 16 cans to make a pound. To change the world, you gotta change yourself. That yes. kind of mentality okay. ties in very well with, you know, changing yourself as well as changing the community. If you enjoy every moment of your life, and then good things will happen. It's, what it's, happens, it's man? Happiness like, is the key. It's, it's kind of like Happiness that Steven Seagal movie where that one dude says, "Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die." Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone wants to go to heaven, nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to die. That's no. funny. So it's the crew right here, part of Bald Again 2012. I've actually never tripped on LSD. I actually, I like this. Not bad. 
I don't know if I want to go bald again. It's kind of cool. Well, either way, we still got to tweak it out a little bit. And You're going to tweak it up, right? You're going to clean it up for me? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Bro, I got to say, man, nice shoes, man. Thanks, I man. just noticed them. Wait, Who no, made these shoes? Who made those? Uh, nomadic state of mind or nice. being or I don't know. Cool. They were given to me in San Francisco and oh, some of the most comfortable things I've ever worn. They look very comfortable. Something like Jesus would wear. You'd be surprised how often I get the Jesus comment. Oh my yeah. gosh, bro. I get the Jesus comment a lot, and I think it's hilarious because the people that are calling me Jesus are the ones that are ignoring me on the side of the road, and I'm just like, yeah, right. uh, what would Jesus do? Jesus would be a hitchhiker. We got Mr. Xander over here, gonna shave his head bald. He's at a mohawk right now. Look at that. He, like, he knows what he's doing. Like I said, it is not the first time I've given anybody a mohawk uh -huh. or a bald head. This time they're awake for it though. <laughs> what happened last time? Uh, my roommate was being a jackass, so a couple of us held him down and shaved his head in his sleep. No way. Did you wake up? Yeah, I mean, you got somebody shaving your head, you're gonna wake up. <laughs> but when you got three people holding you down, there's not much you're gonna be able to do. When the damage is done, you just kind of sit there and Embrace the baldness. <laughs> Can't be doing that in the park. So where are you going next, uh, Xander? Where are you headed to? Uh, more than likely up to Missouri, unless the universe tells me otherwise. What's in Missouri? Brother of mine. Nice, like real fan, like blood brother or? Uh, universal brother. Not gonna lie, you're kind of making me want to shave my head. Kidding me? Nah, it's been a while, if, man. If, I miss it. If, if you want to go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, is that a razor? Like that, man. Is that a razor? <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're solid, my friend. Awesome, bro. Thank you so much, awesome. man. Let's hey, check it out, Wow, Wow, let's check it out. Uh. Oh, you gotta trim it up in the back. Listen, if you want to shave your head, bro, no. I don't mind returning a favor. No, <laughs> I've, I've spent too long growing my hair out at this point. That's so true. If I'm gonna do anything to my hair, it's gonna be dreadlocking it. That's true. But that's already starting to happen because, you know. It happens. Yep. Thanks, man. My pleasure. Great experience. Great experience. And this is the new look for 2012. Like it? Bald is beautiful.